So the question says that prove that all the numbers in the sequence in the sequence every possible numbers are perfect cubes. Let's plan to write down the nth term in the sequence by following the pattern that is given in the sequence. So you can see that uh, like in the first number 1 is present one time, the second number 1 is present two times, then in the third number 1 is present three times. So in this way if you count the other numbers then we can write down the nth term of the sequence as it's going to be 1 1 1 like this. So this is going to be n times then there will be a 0 and then 7 will be present also n times following the pattern then there will be 8 and then 1 1 1 1 will be present you can see that here for the third term 1 is present 4 times so for the nth term 1 will be present n plus 1 times so this is going to be the nth term in this particular sequence divided by 3. So let us write down that 1 by 3 outside. So this is going to be the nth term of the sequence. Now let's try to plan to write the number in the decimal format. So in the decimal format this particular number will be written as one third of like First, let us write down all this one in the decimal format like you can see the total if I count like n digits one digit n digit one digit and then n plus one digit so total we are having three n plus three digits so let us try start to write down in the decimal format as 10 to the power 3 n plus 2 plus corresponding to the first one then for the second one it is going to be 10 to the power 3n plus 1 then 10 to the power 3n so in this way we will continue up to the decimal format of this particular one for that it is going to be 10 to the power the index will be the number of digits after this particular one so number of digits is going to be n n plus 1 that is 2n plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 2n plus 3 terms are there after this particular one so in the decimal format it is going to be 10 to the power uh, 2n plus 3 so this is for the first series of 1 plus then there will be 0 which will not create any difference in the addition plus then the 7 series will start so it is going to be 7 into for the first 7 how many digits are there after the first seven let's calculate here n minus one digits are there then one digit n digits and here n plus one digits so 2n plus one digits are there so it is going to be 7 into 10 to the power 2n plus 1 plus 7 into 10 to the power 2n so in this way it is going to continue up to this particular seven for the last seven there are after seven there are n plus two digits so it is going to be seven into ten to the power n plus two digits so ten to the power n plus two plus there is a standalone eight term so it will be it is going to be eight into ten to the power n plus one and then it will be all ones so one into ten to the power n plus one into ten to the power n minus one so on until the units digit that is 1. So this is the decimal representation of this uh, number right. So now let us create a GP series out of it like we can see that uh, before doing the GP series let us quickly do one modification out here that is uh, we can break up this 8 into 10 to the power n plus 1 as 7 into 10 to the power n plus 1 plus 10 to the power n plus 1 okay and then this 7 into 10 to the power n plus 1 will go in this particular sequence and 10 to the power n plus 1 will be gone in this particular sequence so in this way the calculation part will become easier so it is going to be one third of we are having one gp starting from here up to here then another gp starting from here up to so let's write down the term. So for the first GP, it's going to be 10 to the power 3n plus 2 is the first term. And it is continuing up to 10 to the power 2n plus 3. So this is the first GP plus 
7 into 10 to the power 2n plus 1 starting from here up to 10 to the power n plus 1 so this is second gp and then 10 to the power n plus 1 until 1 this is the third gp so we can break it up into three gps now using the gp series sum we can write down this to be equivalent to one third of let us find the sum of this gp series and let us try to write down the sum considering the last to be the first term and the common ratio is going to be 10 because from the last it is going to be 10 times so let us consider the last term to be the first term so 10 to the power 2n plus 3 into the number of terms is going to be um, n so 10 to the power n minus 1 divided by 10 minus 1 this is the first gp plus 7 into the first term let us consider this to be the first term for the second gp so 10 to the power n plus 1 is the first term and the common ratio is obviously 10 for the decimal um, expansion so common ratio to the power number of terms now number of terms is going to be like originally there were n number of 7 but uh, this 8 was broken into another 7 and 1 so the number of 7 is going to be n plus 1 so there are n plus 1 terms out here and plus uh, there will be n plus 2 terms in the last gp so it's going to be one third of 10 to the power 3n plus 3 minus 10 to the power 2n plus 3 divided by 9 plus 7 into 10 to the power 2n plus 2 minus 10 to the power n plus 1 by 9 plus 10 to the power n plus 2 minus 1 by 9. Now let us try to simplify this whole thing. So it is going to be 1 by 27 taking 9 as the LCM in the de denominator so 1 by 27 into 10 to the power 3n plus 3 minus 10 to the power 2n plus 3 plus 10 to the power 2n plus 3 can be planned as 10 into 10 to the power 2n plus 2 plus 7 into 10 to the power 2n plus 2 minus 7 into 10 to the power n plus 1 plus this 10 to the power n plus 2 can be planned as 10 into 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1. Now finally grouping these two terms and these two terms we are having the nth term of the sequence is 1 by 27 into 10 to the power 3n plus 3 minus 3 into 10 to the power 2n plus 2 plus 3 into 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1. Now we can clearly see that this is uh, getting into a form of a perfect cube because this is nothing but 10 to the power n plus 1 whole cube minus 3 into 10 to the power n plus 1 square plus 3 into 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1. So the whole number is of this particular structure that is 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3 whole cube and uh, we are getting a perfect cube and uh, corresponding to the term that is uh, 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 by 3 we can easily see that uh, this number is definitely going to be an integer right because uh, this particular number will have all the digits in the numerator uh, this number will have all the digits as 9. So 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 means there will be n number of 9s divided by 3. So that whole number has to be an integer.
so we can claim that this whole number is nothing but some integer to the power 3 so integer to the power 3 means a perfect cube